people is asking what was your thinking when you were preparing for IIT or IIM or civil services and then he's asking what was your thinking when you were leaving them it's not the same man who prepared as the man who left we are a flux we are changing constantly and that is life heraclitus the great greek philosopher he said you don't step into the same river twice man is like a river flowing constantly changing constantly hmm flowing towards the sea the ocean to dissolve there disappear there the one who is 15 years old and is preparing for the itj has one kinds of thought in mind he is a child who is conditioned by the situation at home by the fact that he was born in a family of bureaucrats by the fact that he thinks that the only way to live a meaningful life the only way to contribute is through the government machinery and if you want to be an ias then you must first be in iit because he saw that it were the iitians who were making it through to the ias top rankers list so he says all right to ias via iit that's why he prepared for iit and then time changes the teenager is no more a teenager in the process of preparation itself he sees what is meant by centralized government what is the truth of bureaucracy and he does get selected and he spends a couple of months in the training academy and he sees how things operate there and he sees that wherever there is centralized government there would be a lack of freedom and by this time he is already 22 and he says no i am young i cannot spend my life in a system that will constantly dictate how i am to be so he quits but you know this question is not of such great importance to you except for one thing it doesn't matter where you are hmm it doesn't matter where you are your entire history has brought you to a point that history doesn't matter in your awareness in your deep understanding what is right is right yes i had invested a lot of time in pursuing my btech degree and i had invested time in preparing for the civil services exam and i invested time in doing my mba also but that does not mean that my past becomes so heavy upon me that i live just as a slave to it that i must be an engineer because i have an engineering degree that i must work as a manager because i am an mba from ahmedabad that i must be a bureaucrat because i have cleared the civil service exam no past doesn't matter if at a particular point something sees right to you go ahead and do it don't be captives to your history don't say that now that i've invested so much in it how can i leave it these are sunk costs you go to watch a movie right you made the decision to watch a movie and you go inside and you discover in the first one hour that the movie is crap now there are two options one you can say i have already invested rupees 300 in the ticket and one hour in the movie so i'll invest one more hour the other option is 
आई हैव ओनली इन्वेस्टेड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड वन आवर वाई शुड आई वेस्ट एन अदर आवर एंड वेदर यू गो बाय द फर्स्ट चॉइस और द सेकेंड वन दैट डिसाइड्स द एंटायर डेस्टिनी ऑफ योर लाइफ डू यू सी दीज टू अप्रोचेस फर्स्ट अप्रोच सेज आई हैव ऑलरेडी इन्वेस्टेड थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड वन आवर सो लेट मी स्पेंड एन अदर आवर द सेकेंड वन सेज आई स्टिल कैन सेव वन आवर and i have invested only 300 why am i investing more into something that does not deserve it are we together hmm nothing is permanent you need not be committed to anything except your own consciousness 